Hi, this is Austin with uh, my 1990 uh, Ford Coachman. I just want to take you a walk around with it and show you a little bit about it. So, uh, it's a uh, Conaline 250. Got some really nice uh, hub caps on here that come off. Just with a flathead screwdriver. Just take a flathead and you can pop it off. Uh, real easy if you need to get access to the wheels for any reason. Um, this is the awning right here, which uh, I'll show in another video how to use. Uh, right here, this is uh, this is where you would connect in your cable if you you know if you're still doing cable right here, and then this is where you do your city water. So if you were going to connect in a city water line and have full pressure, you would connect in right there. Uh, this is access to the uh, water heater right here, or the water heater if you need to get access to it for any reason. Uh, this is access to the fridge, the back of the fridge. And um, I also, you also have uh, some uh, plug outlets if you need to plug anything in on the outside, a radio or anything, you can plug in right here and gain access to it. And then I also have um, a little like toolbox here that I just keep, uh, it looks like uh, gun, you know, gun parts, but I just keep uh, some miscellaneous stuff like a battery charger and some, you know, little stuff just to keep handy. I just left it right there. Uh, this is access to the uh, shower, the outdoor shower, which just opens up, and I'll show you that as well. Um, this is the vent for the furnace, the heater inside, uh, for the inside of the vehicle. Uh, this is where the storage for the um, uh, the sewer, uh, when you're draining your, your gray water and your black, your black water, this is where you keep it because when you're not using it. These are little hatches for the awning. This is where the uh, auxiliary battery is. So this battery is your house battery. So um, this uh, keeps everything inside the vehicle, uh, your lights and all that stuff. So it's separate from your car battery. So if your car battery dies, it's, uh, it's dead. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, this is where you can, uh, you can clap I've never had any problems with this, but I would definitely recommend uh, starting here and then climbing if you need to get up here. So this is an older vehicle. I mean, if, you, if you're on it, it's sturdy, but it's just just to be safe. So you know, don't try to put too much weight on it. If you need to for any reason. Okay. Um, this is uh, the back, which you can get into right here if you need to. I've never opened this door before. I don't even know how to open it but um, right here I keep a bunch of stuff which I'll show you in another video but um, you know I, uh, just a little storage right here the back of the toilet uh, this is the spare uh, tire which you can access uh, by removing these two screws right here and then once you remove those two screws there's two uh, long screws in here that you just basically get one hand on the inside one hand on the outside you unscrew these and then the tire pops right off if you need to get it. Uh, this is your hitch right here, obviously, um, and your uh, your electrical uh, if you're going to tow anything right here. On this side of the vehicle, you have your um, this is your house uh, electricity right here. If you need to uh, plug in, yeah, that way you don't have to use propane or anything like that. You can you know, if you're at somebody's house, you can just plug in right here. Uh, you have two tanks, two fuel tanks. One is 20 gallons and the other one is 18. This one and this one. I don't know which one is the right one and which one is the left, but you have two of them. Uh, this is if you're gonna fill up water um, and you're not, um, uh, you're just gonna you wanna fill up the tank inside the RV. You just take a, a, hard, a, gar a garden hose. I, I recommend uh, putting a filter on the garden hose before you uh, put the water in, which I do have and then just fill the water up right here. Once it gets too full, it'll start overflowing. Um, so you might have to kind of play with it. Once it starts overflowing, it might just be a little bit full. It might not be full yet. So just kind of play with it until you feel that it's comfortable and then you can close it back up. This is where the generator is. Um, and also I have a, a, a long electrical cord if you need to, to get a longer cord out for any reason. I also have, um, cable in here for cable if you're going to connect up to, to a RV camp and uh, cable 
if you have TV and whatnot. And then I got a little uh, sponge. That back there. Um, you can access and turn on the generator from right here if you like, but there's a you can do it from inside, so there's really no reason to do it out here. But you can start it right here if you like. you the there's a switch inside you can just use that there's no reason to use this one out here and then I have um, this is a hose if you're gonna be connecting to um, city water um, you have your hose right here and then I also have uh, this is for when you're doing your sewer uh, when you're draining your, your black and gray water you lay the, the hose on that and I'll show that to you in another video but that's what this is right here and I just keep all that right in here Pop the hood over here. Um, I keep uh, a few things in here at all times. I got uh, some extra antifree, some brake fluid. Um, everything's been uh, cleaned recently. Uh, you fill up your oil, transmission. Oh, I'm sorry, this is where you check your oil right here. This is where you fill up your oil. Uh, I believe that's your, um, your brake fluid right there. And, um, and then this is the battery. So that's it for the exterior right there.